Hayes, um, the head strength coach here at California Strength. In the first posterior chain video, we talked about uh, some bilateral movements that we use, um, some bigger movements, and then what we do from there is we go into doing unilateral movements, and the reason being is we exhaust those big prime movers, and now we're working on um, balancing right to left, as well as working on the stabilizer muscles. Uh, so one of the exercises that we like to use for that are single leg RDLs or single leg Romanian deadlifts. So have the weight in the opposite hand of the working leg. Okay, knee slightly bent, all the movements in the waist. So you hinge at the waist, reach back with that free leg, this shoulder stays back, you make a T with the body, engage your glutes to come up to start position. Reach back, T with the body, come up, squeeze your butt. All right. We talked a little bit about the hamstring curl in the last video, but you can also use those same movements uh, with one leg as well. So this is a very good with the kneeling hamstring curl. You can use this with one leg. All right, back is flat, curling up. All right. So again, you can uh, use your foot positions, plantar flex, neutral dorsi flex, or rotate it in neutral, rotate it out, use those combinations to, to vary up the load on the muscle. And then, of course, for the lying hamstring curl, you can also use one leg for that as well, instead of two. So again, using uh, one leg at a time helps to balance right to left. So this next exercise, uh, we don't really have a name for it. But it works, so this is what you do. All right, it's very similar to the single leg RDL, okay, but you're, you're using a cable or a pulley system as a load rather than a, a kettlebell or a dumbbell. All right. So Hand of the working leg. Okay. Knee slightly bent. All the movements in the waist. Reach both sides. And then grab the knee and toe up. Okay. All right. So again, that works the stabilizers, um, and as well as, as works that knee and uh, knee and toe up, the knee drive that you get in uh, in running in the running motion. Here's one of our more uh, one of our more popular exercises for the posterior chain. It's called the Death March. Okay, uh, we'll link back to another video that we, that we did before uh, to demonstrate this. But I'm going to go over the, the the important points. All right, so you take a, a short step, front knee slightly bent, back leg is straight. All the movements in the waist, touch, and you pull yourself forward in your next step as you come up. All right. Extending all the way as you come up. All right, so at the top, make sure you really get the big chest, extend all the way up, and that'll really work the entire posterior chain from the ankle all the way up to the upper back. So that's a really good one. Last exercise is we call the five cone touch. All right, so this is basically works on stability. Um, one of the biggest things that it works on is, is the uh, soleus, which is this stabilizer muscle of the ankle, um, as opposed to the gastroc, which is for a prime mover. All right, so a lot of times you'll really feel uh, a, lot, a, a burn in the soleus or the lower leg for this one. So you stand in the middle of two cones. All right, so you have five, five cones set up. And you just squat, bending at the knee and the hip. Touch the cone, come back up. Cone, back up. So what you'll do each cone, with one hand, and then each cone with the other hand, and then switch legs, all right? So it really gets all angles, right? So you can also have rotation here. So it works on stability in multiple planes. Um, you can also use a Dyna disc or something similar, or you can even use a rolled up uh, yoga mat or a pad to add instability in that ankle to really uh, tax those muscles. Um, so that is uh, the second part of our posterior chain, the unilateral work that we do. And uh, in our next uh, video, we'll be looking at some more uh, the bigger complex movements that we use for the posterior chain. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.